Good morning, human. What are you doing up so early? to leave your side so early. You couldn't sleep because I left. Hmm. I guess your... I guess your chest would get rather cold, wouldn't it? sleep while you were sleeping. Oh, no, I, I am tired, but I was watching over you. I didn't want anything bad to happen while we were sleeping. I was guarding you. Don't laugh, it isn't funny. The serious. <laughs> I wanted to make sure you were safe. Why? Well, well, I, I had a nightmare. I know it's been a few weeks since. Since we were captured by that wicked alchemist, I just. It got me to thinking. There's so much evil in this world. So many things bigger than I am that are dangerous and cruel. And I don't want to live in a world like that. Not, not while I can't do anything to protect you. Because... <laughs> human. You're all I have. And every day, I feel more and more that my parents are either very, very far, or, or, or may, maybe they're not alive anymore. I don't know. It's just, there's so much bad happening. What could a dragon do against so much evil? That man wanted to harvest my scales. I can't help but think what had become of my parents. <laughs> but as I thought that, I thought about you. You tried to protect me when nobody else wanted to or could. Not even my parents. I... I fear that maybe they abandoned me or worse. And I... I thought that I will never abandon you. I, I woke up from that nightmare, more determined and, and fierce than ever I had. I'm going to make sure nothing like that ever happens to us again. I'll grow stronger every day. I'll learn how to defend myself 
to breathe fire better, to use the strength I know is in me to protect you. I know I'm small now. I know I'm not strong, not yet. But one day I will be. I'll be the strongest, most fiercest dragon anyone has ever seen. I'll make sure they never hurt us again. As long as I live, I'll protect you. I'll watch over you. And I'll make sure nobody hurts you. I... I care about you, human. Because no one has cared for me like you have. <laughs> so that's why I'm awake so early. I wanted to protect you and make sure you're safe. <laughs> um, don't pull me so close. You'll pop my head off. <laughs> I know. I know you won't leave me. I know you're my true friend. But as long as I live, I promise, I'll always be there for you. No matter what. I can't help that. <laughs> I'm so small and tiny. One day I'll get bigger. Who knows? You might be even be able to ride me one day. <laughs> Why is that so hard to believe? I am not a dwarf dragon. I am a large dragon. Or will be one day. I won't stay this size forever. One day I'll get big. So big. Bigger than trees and bigger than mountains. <coughs> but no matter how big I get, I'll always be your little dragon. I love you, human. And I want to make sure you're always safe. Hmm? Not fair, you cannot tickle me like that. <laughs> Stop. It's not fair that you know all my weaknesses and I don't know any of yours. Dragons aren't supposed to be ticklish at all. It's against the rules. <laughs> I do know your weakness. Well, unless it's food, I can't think of much else that's your weakness. Like a brick house. A hundred feet taller than I am. Well, I don't know how feet works, but I know that you're huge and I'm rather not. But what is this weakness I'm supposed to know? <laughs> Me? I never th thought about it like that. Uh, are you mad at me that I am the such thing to you? <laughs> no. 
I don't understand, human, how... How it is a good thing that I am a weakness to you. I don't want to be a weakness. I want to be strong. I want to be strong to you. Oh, I'm afraid I still don't understand. But... But I'll take your word for it, that it is a good thing. I just... I just wish that there were more I could do for you. It seems like you've gone so much out of your way just for me. And I've done very little in return. There is something I can do. Tell me, please. Stay small. <laughs> Human, I can't do that. I get bigger every day. See? Look. My horns are growing. Mm -hmm. My wings. Look. I can stretch them out a whole foot. I know. They've never been so big before. Oh, and look at my tail. Look at all those extra horns. Oh, they're so pretty. Like shiny rocks sprouting out of my tail. And look, my claws. I can actually dig into the earth now. Whereas before, I had to use my little horns on my head for that. <laughs> I can't help that I'm getting bigger. One day I won't even fit in your pocket anymore. Hmm. Well, even so, I don't think we'll ever be part. I'll always be with you, if you want me to. I... I like being around you, human. You're just... so kind. I've heard so many stories about humans from my parents. My father, in particular. He told me humans destroyed nature. That they burnt down forests and erected terrible towns of, of bloodshed and hatred and cruelty. And I believed him too. As a young dragon, you have to believe your parents. But now that I'm a few weeks older, I see that not all humans are bad. Certainly not you. Never, never you. You're my best friend. You're my human. <laughs> my human that I love. Who I'll always protect. How could I not? No matter how big my wings get, or how strong I become one day, I'll always be with you. <laughs> no. I don't think I'll have that nightmare anymore. I'll scare it away. I'll use my breath. My purple flames to melt away that evil man and his memory. I'll never think of him again. He'll never frighten me. Ever. I won't fear anything anymore. I have you. 
think I have my growing strength to keep me hopeful. Why would I ever need to be afraid ever again? Look, see? You see that mouse over there, scurrying around in the grass? It's twice my size, but I'll catch it, and we'll have breakfast. world has ever seen starting today. What on earth are you laughing at? I slayed this mouse. A mouse is a big deal. Ha ha, very funny. It might be tiny to you, but it's big to me. Well, fine, I'd like to see you do a mouse the way I did. You're not funny, human. Don't be mean to me. Well... At least I got us breakfast, or at least... Breakfast for me. <laughs> It is still rather early, though. Why, why don't you go back to bed and, and I'll keep watch a little bit more, all right? No. Why not? Oh. Well, that is a good point. You don't have any blankets and... Well, how else are you supposed to keep warm out here if I'm not sleeping with you? Hmm. I suppose it is a matter of duty, isn't it? If I don't keep you warm, and then what's the point of protecting you if you're frozen solid by morning? That's a very good point. Well, <laughs> I suppose I could still get a little bit more sleep anyway. Oh. <laughs> well, if you say so, but if you hear anything, you let me know so I can be the first to protect you. All right? Hmm. <laughs> okay. Sh shall I sleep on your chest again? Hmm. Sounds good to me too. I shall be with you always.